Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we'll study about vector algebra. Basically, in this, we'll study about addition of vectors, multiplication, or section formula. Okay, so first I am starting with addition of vectors. Okay, so let's say a vector AB is given by this means it is means the displacement from A to point B. Okay, now consider another vector. BC from point B to point C okay so in vector addition students what I will say is vector AC will be equals to AB plus BC the net displacement made means if you go from A to C or either you go from AB and then to BC means this is same and this is also called as triangle law of vector addition okay now <coughs> let me give you one more example on this let's say vector A is in this direction and vector B is in this direction okay and if I find out or if I want to find out a vector in this direction let's say this is up to here okay from tail of head of A to head of B let's say this is vector C okay going in this direction so what it will be students so what you need to do if you want to C vector will be minus A vector because you are going in opposite direction of A vector than B vector or you can also rewrite it as B minus A vector okay vector C is in this direction okay so this is minus A plus B vector Okay, I hope now you are pretty clear about vector addition. Now we will discuss about properties of vector addition. So the first property is commutative property. In commutative property students for any two vectors A and B, vector A plus vector B will always be equals to vector B plus vector A and this is called as commutative property and the second property named as associative property. In associative property student, vector A plus vector B whole sum of vector C will equals to vector A plus means the addition of vectors at any stage doesn't matter whether you are adding two vectors and then adding third or you are adding last two vectors then adding first vector. So this is known as associative property. Okay. And now let us move to multiplication of a vector. So students, now we'll discuss about multiplication of a vector. Let's say a vector A is a given vector and if we multiply it by a scalar named as lambda, lambda is a scalar quantity, then the product of vector A by the scalar is known as multiplication of A so this is 
it means lambda is multiplied with a vector and this is collinear to original vector collinear to a vector let's say i am giving showing you here this was the a vector and if i multiply this vector by 3 so this is 3 times a vector and the length will becomes now 3 times of a vector and this is origi uh, collinear to the original vector okay and we can also write this as magnitude of lambda a vector is equals to magnitude of lambda into magnitude of a vector okay so this is about multiplication of a vector now let's discuss about components of a vector components of a vector the component means let's say a vector is given let me draw it okay so this is your origin this is your x axis this is y this is z let me take a different color pen okay so this point let's say a this point is b this point is c and i am writing down the magnitude this is 100 zero, zero, x y z in the same order 0 1 0 and this is 0 0 1 okay so i can write this vector as o a the magnitude of o a is 1 magnitude of o b is also 1 and is also equals to magnitude of o c and these are all called as unit vectors okay now students let's say a vector r is given to us this is again the x y and z axis okay so the components of r in the direction of x axis i can write it as r x i cap plus r y j cap or r z k cap is equals to r vector okay so these are the components means if you want to draw this here and there is also some image of on the z axis so these are the component rx ry and rz are the components of r vector in the direction of x axis y axis and z axis okay and the total mode of r will be given by rx square plus ry square plus rz square okay so the component in all the directions square of the components square root of the square of all the components okay so this is mean by components of a vector and last but not the least section formula so students now we will discuss about a section formula let's say the two vectors are given vector a and vector b this is vector a and this is let's say this is vector b okay and if i join the head of vector a to the head of vector b and this will be let's say this is your o this is p and this is let's say q point so if you uh, apply the vector addition you will get this is as p vector minus a vector so let's say there is a vector or originating from o and called as r vector divides this in the ratio n ratio m means this point this point divides vector p q in n ratio m okay means let's say this is s so s q over s p is n ratio m and this is called as section formula and if you need to find out the vector r so that will be given by 
so as you know this will be now from the triangle law sp will become sp vector will become r minus a vector and now sq will become b minus r vector okay so as you know that m times r minus a vector is equals to n times here m n and here m okay b minus r vector so from here you will get r vector as mb plus na over m plus n okay so this is called as section formula in the straight lines chapter in class 11 students i hope that you guys have already studied that what is section formula and this is simply applied in vectors also okay so now we are pretty clear about what are the addition of vectors multiplication of vectors and section formula and also we have discussed about the component of the vectors and in the next lecture student will discuss some question based on all the things that we have discussed in this lecture so stay tuned for that lecture thank you happy learning